Hi, my name is John Hunter and I'm at Venable Elementary School and this is the World Peace Game. It's been uh, about 30 years since we made this and it's a political science simulation that basically pits four different countries against each other in every way possible, philosophically, militarily, economically, eth ethnically, socially. And the kids that play the game, about 30 of them, have to figure out how to solve all the world's problems simultaneously without combat if possible. So here we can describe the game. We have the undersea level where we have undersea mining and submarines and there is a possibility for submarine warfare. We have our ground and sea level, the major theater of operations, and I'll come back to that in just a moment. Then we go to the aircraft level. We have, of course, weather that can change, clouds that move around and so forth, which is all very randomized. And we have an outer space level where there's asteroid mining, uh, we have a black hole and killer and research satellites that students can invest in and put in space if they wish. So the students are presented with 50 different crises at the start of the game. The crises are interlocking in every way possible and they've got to basically back out of these crises if possible without combat as much as possible. We do read some of Sun Tzu's The Art of War at the beginning of every session so the kids can get some ideas of maybe how to stay out of conflict or if you're in it, how to get out of it rather quickly. The country over here, and I'll survey the countries now, is a very wealthy, prosperous nation. They have nuclear weapons. They have quite an investment in um, nuclear energy, as you can see the reactors here. Quite a bit of gold resources, diamonds, copper, silver, and so forth. And their major uh, armaments are tank corps, and they do have an air force up here on this level as well. Very substantial.